Yo, what's going on guys? We are playing Olaf in the jungle. This is the rework 12.9 uh, Olaf. I played a few games with him so far and let me just say he's super, super broken. Um, what the rework's done is shifted a little bit of his power to the late game. Um, so you're still a 1v1 monster in the early game. Uh, but you don't have the same lifesteal, so you can't kind of sustain the same way. But once you get your R and the resets in team fights, it's pretty much all over for the enemies. So you get 20 scaling to 70% move speed on your R, and every auto attack or ability you land increases the duration of your R. So it can essentially go infinitely, which is super, super OP. Another quality of life buff is to the Q. You can chuck it through the monster, and now you can actually ghost through the monster. So you can really like just sit in the monster when you're attacking it, which is kind of cool. Nice quality of life buff. We've seen Viego uh, start bot side, so we're gonna go invade him. Viego's not too strong early, we are, so we're gonna go abuse that fact. Generally with Olaf, you wanna try and sit in the enemy's jungle as much as possible, while not losing too much XP, because you do scale yourself. Viego's also got Conqueror, so the 1v1 will be close, kind of pre-6, we should still win it. Um, Post-6, we just destroy him, because all of his damage is kind of reliant on his CC landing and nothing's going to land on us with our R. So if you didn't know, Olaf's R blocks all CC and you just run through anything. So he's one of the most OP champions in the game into like CC comps. As long as you can sustain the damage, so that's why it's important to go Gore Drinker. As long as you can sustain, go for like a tanky build and then you'll be chilling. Alright, level 3. I would check. We could potentially even just gank Shen here. That's what we're going to do. Landed our axe. Sign landed his stun. Very nice. I'm not sure why Sion stopped chasing. <laughs> Some people don't know the power of Olaf. We easily can get that, even if we're tanking the whole minion wave. We had our um, true damage on. Shen was basically one hit to that. Didn't get to invade the Viego, but it's whatever. We'll go do that now. See if he's just finishing up. 3.30, he might be on his last camp. Just got to be careful that Shen doesn't show up. Hit our last refill, Sweeper. Ooh, yeah, I think he is on his last camp. Just got to be careful that Shen doesn't come around the corner. Yeah, he's super low. Ah, uh, yeah, we got to run. That was just perfect timing for the Shen. <laughs> really? Viego actually decides to come back. I'll just kill him. Yeah, he's watered it. We're getting out of here. Might be able to come behind the Cassidy. Oh, Dari's not moving up. When she hits a charm, she's dead. Oh no. She missed both abilities. That's alright. Remember you have a shield on your W. That's kind of a quality of life buff as well. It makes you 1v1 in. It kind of makes up for the lifesteal that you lost on it. So you're missing a little bit of sustain. Yeah, we're just going to go back. First item, Gore Drinker. We'll go Iron Spike Whip. And we'll grab a Control Ward. Head back out. Now we just want to kind of start clearing our camps and head to level 6. Looks so like Viego might get a kill. He had his Conqueror stacked. He might have actually been able to get that. Maybe. So use your Iron Spike Whip to clear the camps and your Gore Drinker when you get it. We'll smite this. Just want to be clear into our level 6 power spike now. Obviously still ganking, but... Once you get, the more points you get in 6, the stronger Olaf gets. He just scales and scales now. He doesn't really fall off like he used to. Uh, having that utility on his level 6, if you use it right and you know how to play Olaf, he scales very, very well into the late game. Imagine just an, a tank like Olaf running around the late game, 
not being able to get CC'd and just churning everyone up. Dragons are up. But kind of already up here. Don't really need to get the first dragon. Well, you don't not need to get it, but it doesn't need to kind of be priority. I'm not going to miss all these camps just to go down to the first dragon and it's a win soul. Still got a smart charge. We'll go up and get Shen again. He's level six. The Scion was pretty hesitant to gank him last time, so hopefully we can gank him this time. We're going to hit a refill. Uh, he just seen me. Come here, boy. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be able to get him. That could, that ward was like one second off expiring. I got spotted by it. It's so annoying. We showed top, so Viego might actually just go dragon now. It's a possibility. Ooh. Okay, Sion just died apparently. I'm not sure how he died to Shen. Shen was literally 1 HP. Vegas Raptor's down. We're gonna go for Kassadin. Uh. Yeah, we're dead. Well, maybe not. Alright, we lived. Kassadin's damage output is insane. We don't have our R either, so we're getting slowed. Oh, that's super annoying. Now they're going to come in here, aren't they? I think I'm going to be just as low as any of them. I'm not sure if I can fight that. Oh, Viego actually died. Uh, Cassidy's low, but she's level 7. Two levels up on me. Really just need to hit this. Level 6. And now we got level 6. Okay, I'm going to mute Ari. She's just pinging for no reason. Like, yeah, she's missing, but you don't have to ping five times. Oh, Brand's dead. Make sure you're picking up your axes. Speeds up the clear enormously. If you're like running off to another location, don't feel like you need to pick up the axe. It'll pretty much be up next time you need to use it. There goes Tolt. We could actually just go for drag now. Bot lane's still full HP, both of them. They got a Jin and a Nami. Could potentially kill them. With our level six. Looks like they're backing off anyway. Olaf can sneak drags, much like a Master Yi, so. I think Nami's level six is not gonna work on me. Jin's use level six. We'll see how we go. We don't want to use six too early. You want to use it when you're right on top of them. Oh, I thought it was both of them then, but. Ended up getting there. So whatever. We'll go to drag now. As I was saying, Olaf can sneak drags. Much like a Master Yi. So, Kassadin's missing, so I'm not gonna go for this just yet. There she is. Ooh, she got away. I think she can go over walls, right? Yeah, she's gone. I'm gonna grab these. Oh. Casting super low under tower. Oh, I didn't even notice Nami was there. Uh, now Viego's coming. I'm in a bit of a weird spot. We've kind of been doing nothing for a while.
I think we just sneak drag here. They don't have vision of it. Olaf can take it relatively quickly. I don't think they're healthy enough to actually come down and stop me. My bot lane's got prior, but they're not. Looking. It's okay, I don't need them. If they kind of stay on the map, they won't think I'm on drag, necessarily. Nice. Good. Mm, oh, nice. Might actually be able to pick up a kill here. We can just run under tower. Oh, we got the double. Very nice. We'll take this. I think Viego's got Retarded up top. Ooh. I don't know what she thinks she's doing. Oh, we almost hit her with the axe. A bit too close. A bit too far. Nice. Spot lane's got the tower. We had so much pressure bot. That's so good. Oh, Sign's going to kill this Viego, I think. Sitting on a lot of gold. Um... We'll go, we'll go plated, I think. I think Shen's AD, yeah. Grab another control ward. We'll run out, we'll basically do a full clear. Actually, Viego's blue buffs up. We could just clear our red side, go into his blue. He's probably gonna back, come for his blue. His top side's probably down. I think... I think we outscale these guys anyway. Yeah. We don't necessarily need um, Dragon for Wincon, but always nice to get. Never turn down a free lunch. Right. Keep on clearing with our Q. Your combos are just going to be hitting Qs, auto attacking, and hitting E's as well. We're just going to full clear. We got three guaranteed camps up here. Viego's only got two over there, even if we were to steal them. Come on, pick up our axe. Bring this bad boy over. You can do two camps of one as, uh, on Olaf, but it's not that quick because you can't really pick up your axe in most cases. Go Shen. Oh, yep, he's there. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get him. Yep. We just turn on our R. He can't taunt us or hurt us. Let's grab this tower now as well. Sign should be able to just clear the whole wave with his Q. Nice. Let him get the cannon. Should just be able to take this with his demolish. Vega's whole red side's coming up. We're going to go down and grab that. We'll go for his red buff first. We want to secure that first. If we can. Oh. We haven't got smites. It's a little ugly. Yeah, they were coming for me. Blow the flash there. Sion's still over there by himself. Not worth dying. We've got a 500G bounty. Our R wasn't up. If our R was up, I definitely would have stayed and fought that, but it's just no point. No point throwing a bounty. Double longsword. We'll go back out. We'll go into Death Stance, and then we might need something for the Cassidy. She's the only one that may be able to outscale us. But even saying that, she can't stun us when we're on our R. 
pretty sure... Yeah, so the R's are cleansed, so once you get stunned, you can R. I like to R just before you get stunned. Kind of makes it more fluid. Uh, yeah, we'll go straight over. We'll check Vie uh, Viego's blue. And we'll get Dragon. Yep, what's up? No surprise there. He's kind of been just hanging around top lane. I guess he's decided his bot lane's not worth it. I mean, they're kind of not. Jin, no mana under tower. Could easily just run under and get him. You gotta think at this stage in the game, is it worth it? He's 0-3, we're 5-0, so... Could have easily R'd the Cassid in there. I didn't know who was hiding behind us, so... Didn't bother. Just make sure you land in your auto attacks so you put your E on a lower cooldown. So we're doing 272 true damage. And that scales with AD. That's actually kind of crazy, true damage that scales with AD. So you want really every item to be providing AD if you can. But you also, the main thing about Olaf is that you can sustain and be tanky. It's not all about the true damage, because... Who just shut down here? Or oh, Jinx just got shut down. Another point now, ah, oh my god. This guy's on Herald, but Shen's there, so I can't, can't do anything. We're going to go down this way. Get the Gore Drinker off. We're going to make him tank Herald. Oh, I missed my Q. No. No, I missed my Q. He just jumped out of the way. No, damn. I had Red Smite as well. I didn't think I was going to lose that. I shouldn't have lost that, but it's whatever. No point dwelling. At least I stopped him from getting Herald. I got... Got the Viego. Unfortunately, gave Shen the shutdown. I'm not sure how much that was. 500 gold. It's not too bad. It's a little bit annoying. Yeah, Viego couldn't do anything to me there because my R. Uh... I think Shen might actually just die to this Ari. Yep, nice. Get our Krugs, our R's back up. Now, once you have two points in the R, it's pretty much essentially always up. When you get in a fight, just press it. Even if you only get one person, um, it's kind of worth, because basically the time you go farm a few camps, it'll just be off cooldown. Such a low cooldown. Oh my god. This Cassidy's 5 and 1 now. We need Magic Resist. I have no idea how she got that many kills. Mr. Cannon. Run over, take some of these camps. Just want to be mopping up as much farm as we can. We'll let him have his raptors back. Herald's despawning. I'm going to ping out where Viego is. He's one item. I guess we're one item as well, but we're pretty much on our second item. He's one and four. We're like 50 CS up on him. So it's like something like 15 CS is a kill or 12 CS or something. So we're, even though we're six kills up, kind of like another five in CS. We just can't fight us. Finding it hard to go in their jungle because Shen is just camping there. He's camping his top lane quite well, so. And he's rotating. Oh my god, what is this brand doing? Oh my god, the Viego just R'd me by mistake. 
Yeah. Oh my god, the Viego literally just R'd me by mistake. He didn't know I was there. <laughs> he was trying to R the brand and he jumps over and R's me. I just took 600 damage from him and he wasn't even trying to do that to me. We took mainly AP from everyone, so finish our death stance and we'll have to go. I think Ever Spirit Visage, Force of Nature. Force of Nature could be good. So we've got 350 health, 70 magic resist. That's kind of good. Spirit Visage only gives 40 magic resist, but our regen. Healing and shielding goes up. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, they've taken all the regen healing. I might go Force of Nature. I mean, we can't get anything now yet, but. Force of Nature is going to give us that juicy move speed. So that's what we want. Force of Nature, and we might go into Dead Man's. Shen's pushing that turret. Put our R back up. See what I mean? Your R's essentially always up. Bye bye, Cassadin. We'll flash to maintain our R duration. Ah, oh, damn. She might actually get away now. Felt like my Q just did like negative distance then. Oh well, we got it on... We got the drag anyway. I felt like I threw my Q at her and it just like went at my feet. I don't know what happened there. Oh my god, is no one going for Shen? Who's our top laner? Scion. Scion was that dragon. Vega just used his stun. We're not just going to raw chase him at that distance. <sighs> not sure what that guy was trying to do there. It's probably in his red buff. We can go pay him a visit. I'm not going to place my control ward here. We've got it um, on dragon, I believe. Yeah. Nice. Pretty sure Shen just TP'd. He didn't use his R though. Let's cast it in. Oh, yikes. Gonna red smite for damage reduction. She just gets away. Yeah. That's gonna be a hard matchup for us. We need Force of Nature. ASAP. We're gonna back. I bet she didn't realize it was both of us there. Nice. Brand gets that shut down, that's huge. Yeah, she didn't know we were here. Not sure why she just blind jumped over the wall. That was kind of dumb. I think she's having trouble with Brand. She's going to be super annoying though. We need a really rushed force of nature. She's 9 and 3. I think my teammates must be having trouble against her as well. Once we get our third point in our R, we're going to have 70% movement speed, and that's going to be indefinitely until we can't auto someone for more than 2.5 seconds. Like 50 CS up on the... Up in the enemy jungle at the moment. He's just middle. He's just showing on the map way too much. We just know where he is all the time. And we're punishing him for it. He's still got two items though. I don't know if he's just getting shutdowns or what. He's got a few assists. Like he is getting seven assists. Kassan shuts down the brand. So I'm probably about to get shut down here. Or killed, I mean. Need to be careful where we are. Yeah, there. Don't get the cassette in. Oh my god, she just got deleted. Uh, our ultimate wore off. We don't want to go under there without our ultimate. Uh, let's 
Come behind the gin. Zero six. This is probably something I'm gonna regret. But yep. Yep. Uh, I literally said it, and then I did it. Yeah, I forgot about the Shen. That true damage, though. Took 700 true damage. Damn. Shen is tanky. He's got... Yeah, he's got Warden's Mail. Plated Steel Caps, Thorn Mail, and Frostbite. In a 1v1, we still kill him, definitely. But that Jin was just there doing damage, even though he's 0-6. It's got serrated dirt, gale force, pickaxe. Uh yikes. Nice, oh, so I might get them both. Oh no, Shen's getting away. If only Cassidy doesn't kill our whole team before Dragon, we might be okay. Need to go back down to Dragon. Viego's dead, Jin's dead, Shen's just pushing towers, annoyingly enough. So I don't have vision on it because we have a control ward. We're just going to go for it. I don't even think Shen can make it up here in time before we burst it. See, if Jin starts, uh, Jinx starts hitting that, they actually know we're on it. They didn't know we're on it until she hit that. Oh, and that was Soul. We got Soul Drag, nice. Come here, boy. Oh, and Shen's here again. Oh no, it's not Shen. Okay, we're living. <laughs> he flashed it to the wall. Panic flash. Oh, where did it... What the... What just happened then? I just lost Nami in that push. <laughs> Whatever. I literally lost Nami, that was... Weird. I was gonna flash, but I didn't want to really flash for an army. I mean, she has only died three times, actually. Might have been worth killing her. I'm just gonna roam, take all the camps. Pinging Baron, they're all up. I kind of wanted that. Oh, Jinx is 5 and 2. Maybe I should have just given that to her. Okay, they got 3 top. Let's go. Yeah, they got no vision. This should be free. Shen's top. I'm gonna go around the top. He is kind of fast though. Nice, Brand gets to slow on him. It's gonna R. Uh... Yeah, R's up in 43 seconds, so. It's always worth r -ing. I swear my R's doing negative distance against an army. Yeah, okay, maybe. Oh, what the? Is he actually trying to come for me? We'll go back mid lane. We need to push these waves. Sion's inting against towers. I guess that's been nerfed. Even though that's been nerfed, I've seen that in like every single one of my games. People, like, it got nerfed, guys, not buffed. I don't know why I keep on seeing that. Like, I'm seeing it twice as much as I did before when it was actually kind of strong. But hole break has been nerfed, Scion's been nerfed, and now I'm seeing it like four times as much. Yikes. We got three points in our R, we just kill anyone now. This is a point where in the game Olaf scales the best. Basically you won't lose. 
Don't really want to jump in there under tower with kind of three of them there though. Oh. Oh my god, I didn't even think I can save it here. Yep. Cassidy got it, that's kind of annoying. What we can do is we can just run up and take this inhibitor, maybe. We do have Baron. We can even just, yeah, walk this. I kind of forgot we had Baron. We can just walk this up to the inhibitor and take it. We don't have our Force of Nature yet, actually. We kind of want to back and get that. I didn't realize how much gold we're just sitting on. Grab Force of Nature. Then we might even grab... Yeah, we'll grab Hex Drinker as well. We're going to have to grab more. Because basically it's just a Cassidy and Carry. She's 16 and 4. Basically there's no one else. Shen's annoying because he's tanky, but we can still kill him. I think Cassidy's literally just killing the Scion maybe. Oh my god, what is this guy doing? Ah, uh, ah, uh, war off. I swear I'm doing negative distance against the Nami. I think I'm just stuffing it up. Is that the Cassidy? Yeah. We need to run. Oh my god, the Jinx is dead. I don't even think I can fight her without my R. Especially when she's full mana, she's a level above me. I'm definitely fight her on my R. Got Elder up in a minute. I kind of want to back and get this more item that's going to help me against the Cassidy and Dragon fight. Yeah, let's just do it. Oh, what that stuff? I think I can back before Dragon. Let's go, boys. Should be able to get there. Yeah, 30 seconds. We're chilling. Sion can just go for the inhibitor. He doesn't even need the wave. I don't know why he's not. Shen's going to TP. Probably stuff us in this team fight. Oh, nice. I just need to go for the Cassidy. Oh, okay, maybe not. Yeah, I'm dead. I don't think it matters who I attack you. Go, Drinker. Oh my god, I'm tanking for so long. My Jinx is just standing there. What is she doing? Uh, they get Eldar. We get two Nexus uh, inhibitors. Still have Jinx there. I think it's better if she just doesn't die at this stage. I have no idea why I was tanking for over 20 seconds. And I got red smited as well. Kassan actually backed. They still haven't got it. Did they back off? We need vision. Yeah. Oh well. That's unlucky. I think we actually just win that if Jinx autos them. If Jinx could take down one or two people, then I actually, I think I would have won that. If I could literally get the Shen off me. Because Cassidy's squishy. Viego was squishy. He was just going down. I'm just jumping off and back on again. Off and back on. I think I need to go Black Cleaver to deal with the Shen. The Shen's more of a problem for me than the Cassidy. It's just because I can't burst him down as quick. Oh. No team. Sounds AFK base. No. She, I think Ari's dead there. I can actually kill the Cassidy in here, I think. 
Oh, Sion's in base. I'm going to push mid wave. Oh, no. Yeah, the Kassadin can't kill me. That's so funny. Level 18 Kassadin can't kill me. Oh, my God. I don't have R now. I'm scared. Alright, we got the Kassan and nice. We can just push this. I think I'm gonna even just end if I go up in R. Okay, yeah, let's get let's get Baron. Can definitely end with Baron. Wow. Level 18 Kassadin, full build, and we're not quite full build yet, we're five items, but still we absolutely shredded her and she had Elder Dragon. They can't fight us. Oh, did they actually get that? Oh, no, they didn't. Alright, Art at the wrong time. He just jumped over. I should have seen that coming. Nice. We just push this final tower now. I think Kassan is back up. We've got an R in 26 seconds. We just literally need to focus the tower. Because I think Kassan is just going to jump out and kill us all. Oh, there she is. Oh, Sion. Oh. Yeah, we win this now. Nice. Good R from Sion, actually. Let's grab the tower. Kassan's going to be full HP again, but it's only her up. She can't stop us. Let's just go end. I kind of want to kill this Cassidy now. I'm not sure if that's greedy. Ah, oh, she's gonna waste my R. Stopwatch is actually a huge counter to Olaf's R. Oh my god, I'm just gonna end the game, I think. See you guys. <laughs> that is how you carry on the new reworked Olaf. He's so good at scaling now. You could see we fought a Cassidy in level 18 and had no dramas. She even had Elder Dragon. My name's Jellybird. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.